at what age can a, can a child be baptized? Well, there's no certain age a child needs to be baptized. I would suggest uh, one month um, and, and older. But um, yeah, if you look through the Bible, eight days uh, was the time period that they dedicated children. But uh, there's no certain time period. Okay, so dedication at eight days or beyond. Okay, that's good. Let's move now to uh, to Dr. Whoopio. Um, is there a time um, that when we know to when we find Christ as our Savior, would that be the actual time or no? I think so, Pastor Cole. That's a that's a good thing. Uh, you need to find the Lord, and you need to have an understanding. I just know that you know Jesus took the children up in His arms. He loved the children so yes. much. But, you know, uh, when you are 13 as a boy, uh, you make your bar mitzvah and the girls at 12, they say, well, we consider them an adult. But really, I would just say there's a scripture here in Proverbs 22, 6, and this is for the parents. OK, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Our job as Christian parents is to train up our children in the ways of the Lord. And then God is going to bring them in. He is faithful. He will bring them in. He says that they will not depart whatever age. But when they come to the age of accountability and the Holy Spirit starts drawing them, that's the time to really see them come to Christ, be baptized, and serve him. But let's as parents train them up. There's no certain age. Okay, thank you for that answer. Okay, Pastor Columbus. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are really the same as we've just heard. I want to add a few things. I believe there's uh, not an age, but I believe there's qualifications to be baptized. And one of those are to believe, believe and be baptized. We see that in Mark 16, 16, it says, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Uh, you know, when we start to recognize believers' baptism, we as Protestants and Charismatics, we don't believe in infant baptism. We believe that you need to believe. Now, going back to age of accountability, whether that be 12, 13, 14, where a person is responsible for themselves, they can draw to conclusion a good and evil and have matured to the point of really knowing and believing in their heart. Now, you know, Jesus talked about the little children coming to him. So, you know, we're not discounting the Holy Spirit. There's no junior Holy Spirit in bringing a belief to an individual, whether I, I'm looking at my little granddaughter, we were just talking before the show, you know, four, five, six years old, they're praying in tongues. They're, but do they believe in there? Do they have the volitional understanding yet of who God is? I guess in a, in a, a childlike way. But I believe that when a person and confess the testimony that God is in their heart, in their lives, what they've done, and they believe with all their heart. Then they should be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and then Holy Spirit. Okay, thank you so much. Pastor Roser, um, you give the final comment on this, please. Well, great. I, I really can't add a whole lot more to it. I like that idea of junior Holy Spirit. I never heard that before. Uh, <laughs> but realizing that, uh, you know, it is baptism is for believers only and therefore you don't baptize a child who's not old enough to understand and believe now my children and grandchildren have all been saved around the age of four to six years old and uh and then they follow followed the lord in believers baptism but uh, it is a matter of a child becoming of enough knowledge to know that he's a sinner and that Jesus died to save sinners and and therefore therefore they put their faith and trust in him. So at that point, you know, baptism is not something that can wash away sin, even though some teach that. It's a it's an error. We're washed from his sins through the blood of Jesus Christ. That's all. Okay. So I'll leave it at that. 